Welcome friends, welcome to Study Buddy once again. And I am Marki Kujral, your buddy for today. I'm sure you all are very excited about today's topic and what are we going to learn today. So today we are going to learn about plant kingdom. Yes, how many of you love plants? Yeah. I, we all must love plants, we must grow plants. Why do you think plants are important? What are its characteristics and why do we need plants in our life? Let us all understand today. So buddies, come fast. Let's join together. Let's be over here and let's start our environment class, grade 2, chapter for, for plant kingdom. So, let's start. Let's begin. Okay. So, here we are going to learn today about plants. Plants are all around us. Do you agree? We all need plants. And plants are all around us. But what if there are no plants? We are not able to live without plants. Our food is dependent on plants. Our life is also dependent on plants. You know why? Because plants, they give out oxygen. And they take in carbon dioxide. We all do breathing. Do you do breathing? Yes. And when we are breathing, Human beings take in oxygen and we give out carbon dioxide. But what do plants do? Plants balance the cycle. What do they do? They will take in carbon dioxide and take out oxygen, balancing the air for us. Interesting. And that is why it is very necessary that we all grow more, 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 much more plants. And therefore, let's learn more about the classification of the plants, how scientists classify plants or how many types of plants are there. Do you know how many types of plants are there? Any guesses? Buddies? You will be surprised. The scientists believe that there are more than 9,000 million species in the world of different plants. Some are very big, some are huge, thick, some are small, some are very small and some are creepers, climbers, shrubs, herbs, trees, plants, flowering plants, aquatic plants. You have a whole list of them to learn and I'm sure you will enjoy learning. So let's start with plants are all around us and they play a very important role, isn't it? They provide us food, oxygen and many useful products, isn't it? What else does happen? Plants are living organisms that grow in water and in also on the ground. So when we are talking about plants, we see that plants, they have roots and they go deep inside, deep inside the soil and they hold the entire plant with the support of the soil. The roots, they work like the claws of a human being. They get inside, they suck all the minerals and send it to the entire plant which helps them to grow. Wonderfully, all plants are just like human beings. We grow, we breathe, we feel, we reproduce. Similarly, plants do everything like humans. They just can't move. That is the only thing. So, plants are living organisms and they grow, they prepare their own food they are always making food in the presence of sunlight, which is known as photosynthesis, which is known as photosynthesis. And plants, they are food makers. What are plants called as? 
food makers. So plants are food makers. And today's module, we will be learning about classification of the plants. So plants have of the different parts they have. Some have all the plants like they have flowers, branches, stem, leaves, petals, um, they have roots, we have everything, isn't it? So here we are going to also learn about different parts of the plant. We are also going to learn about each part's uses. The roots are the part of the plant that goes underground. It absorbs mineral and salts and it passes those minerals and salts to the entire plant helping it to grow. The stem is the part of the plant which grows above and it works like a tube. It passes all the minerals and water which is fed to the plant to all the other parts of the uh, plant. It also supports the plant. It makes it full, uh, stand strong. The leaves, they are the food makers. They are green in color. In the presence of the sunlight, they make their own food. Plants, here you can see how the sunlight is coming, how the oxygen is being exhaled and carbon dioxide is being inhaled. And here you can see that whatever water is coming on the plant, this water will always be absorbed by the roots and pass through the stem to other parts of the plant. So, plants are important for the environment. Plus, they are called oxygen suppliers and they also provide us habitat. Habitat for various kinds of birds and animals. Where will the birds and animals live if there are no jungles, no forest or there are no trees? So therefore, plants are essential. Plants, if plants are not there, nobody can live on the earth because there will be no food for anybody. There will be no habitat for anybody. It is very important that we keep growing plants. Some plants are used for medicinal purposes. So, there are different uses of each plant. Some are used for medicines. Some are used for cosmetics. Some are used for making various raw materials. Can you give me names of those plants which are used to make fiber or cloth? Yes, buddies. Any three answers in the chat box? Correct. You are absolutely correct. Cotton, jute, we can use them. Banana, even the banana plant is used today to make various fibers. Then any other products which come into your mind and which are belonging to the plant kingdom as a raw material? Yes, you are correct. There are innumerable products like gum. The latex is used from the rubber plant. The tires are also having the rubber. When we talk about sugar cane, yes, sugar cane produces paper, the molasses of the sugar cane. It can be so many different products like cotton. Cotton is used for making cloth. Cotton seed is used for making oil. Coconut is used for making oil. So there are innumerable uses of a plant. It is called the agro-industry also and the industries depending on the crops and the forests. So basically plants have multi-dimensional uses, many many uses. Let's go further to classify the plants. Now there are various categories in which scientists have classified all the plants. So which are these categories? They are depending on the size of the plants. So some plants they are big, some are small, some are very small. So this way we divide them into herbs, shrubs, grass, flowering plants and trees. So in this module we will learn something from this then from certain pictures that which plants are called what or what is shrub to be the category of shrubs. 
how are they termed as which are the examples right so plants here you can see herbs shrubs and there are grass here you can see climbers plants and trees so let's learn about the definitions so let's define now what are trees do you all know the names of the common trees which you can see around kya aapko aapke aas pass mein kuch ped dikhte hain do you know their names common names of trees that grow around us yes it could be people it could be neem banyan tree asopala yes so in south area southern regions we will find eucalyptus as a common uh, tree there are gul mohar trees which are very much growing in uh, the tropical countries like india so neem gul mohar tree banyan tree eucalyptus tree yes correct so there are various types of trees now how will you identify that this is a tree and this is not a tree there are different characteristics let us understand the characteristics of a tree so there are large perennial plants with a single woody stem so what do trees have trees have trunk what do trees have they have trunk and it is very woody it is strong they have branches and leaves that grow from the trunk so the trunk is basically the main supplying a uh, supplier the main supporter of the plant or the tree basically and above the trunk many many branches come out and all these branches have many many tree uh, leaves and that makes a big tree and such big trees have huge canopy foliage and many many people can stand under when the sun is shining very bright and feel the cool breeze of the sun uh, so sorry the cool breeze of the wind because below the tree it won't be very hot when there is very lot of rain there is heavy rain falling you will also see that many people stand below the tree because the huge foliage and the canopy will protect them many birds live in such kind of trees animals like monkeys sometimes snakes they also live in the trees or in the burrows of the tree rats mongoose they also live in under the tree or around the trees so we can say that trees not only grow and help human beings but they are also habitats for animals and trees are used in multiple ways here we can see that trees can live for many many years and when they grow for a very long time they become very large and huge what are shrubs yes shrubs are medium sized they are woody they have multiple stems and they grow to be smaller than the trees now shrubs are not very huge they are not very big but they have multiple stems they can provide habitat for to animals and birds and they are used for landscaping purpose now what do you mean by landscaping landscaping means making the uh, beautifying a place when you go to hotels or you go to houses a lot of beautiful plants are at display in their gardens so that kind of landscaping where the garden looks very very methodically planted could be also termed as landscaping so here we can see that shrubs they may produce flowers they may not produce flowers and shrubs are basically very very beautifying in the gardens 
the next category is grasses so now we learn three categories first we learned is about trees second we learned about shrubs now we are going to learn about grasses so grasses are plants that are typically used for ground cover or for landscaping purpose they are narrow they have blade like structures and they can grow above the soil but not very high above the soil and grasses can be found in the um, fertile plain regions or in the farms wherever you will find open areas or plains or meadows you can call them so we find grass even after one shower of the rain falls we will find that there are green green small grasses growing everywhere and it looks so beautiful after rain isn't it so buddies now we are going to learn about the fourth category and the fourth category is the flowering plants so some plants they have beautiful flowers and these beautiful flowers they can be used again in multiple ways some can be used to make cosmetics creams oils vegetable oils some are used for various purposes like incense sticks to make dyes for paintings or to make paints or to make some kind of a dry arrangement for show pieces so there are so many uses of plants that it will be very difficult for us to list them but i'm sure that you all are much smarter and sharper and you will find more uses and list them down isn't it the garlic when we are talking about the garlic buddies you might have seen hum bhagwan ko haar chadate hain to ye jo haar chadate hain wo kiska hota hai phoolon ka hota hai hum puja karte hain kisse karte hain phoolon se karte hain so flowers are basically used in many ways and they are required and very essential even scents are made you know recently i have been to one of the very beautiful places of the world and there i saw lavender fields these lavender fields they had lavender flowers from which so many beautiful things are being made in the world so you are going to find one flower which has many many uses and you are going to also draw that flower or stick a picture will you do that buddies yes we are going to do that isn't it so let's see again we move further plants they are having flowers and flowers they produce colorful fragrant blooms they come in variety of colors and sizes and you know that they are often a medium of uh, dispersion agents of dispersion so because a butterfly or a fly or any insect will sit on the pollen of the flowers and carry it to a different place and this way at a new place a new plant can grow so with all the flowers they are responsible for getting new plants also to grow and with this we are ending for the day i am sure that today you have learned about uses and characteristics of the plants and you can classify the plants we will be meeting shortly in our next session till then have a great day bye bye buddies see you take care bye bye